when I met David, I discovered a, a real kindred spirit in him. We shared the same passion for characters. Uh, we both seem rather fascinated with um, people, what makes them tick, uh, how they choose to express themselves um, to the world and their, their gestures, their clothing, um, their hair, their makeup, their behavior, all of their little ticks. Those sort of things uh, fascinate me as a costume designer and obviously David as a director and filmmaker. In fact, I think uh, of all the filmmakers working today, I feel like the characters that David creates are amongst the most original and inspiring and surprising and uh, complex characters out there. So that's, that's kind of gold for a costume designer. So I read the script to Joy and uh, there was so much in there and I um, just wanted to be, uh, you know, match the amazing writing with some um, equally amazing costumes. I think what I find the most inspiring about the themes of joy is the sense of, uh, of you know, it's a journey of, of empowerment and uh, the message that through daring acts you get to move forward as a, as a person, as, as a creative being. And that really resonated with me when I read the script, uh, working with David, you know, you're often taking risks and um, working outside your comfort zone and going out on a limb with your creative choices. And I learned from American Hustle how liberating that is as a, as a creative artist. And uh, when I read about that and the themes of, of joy, um, it really, um, it made me want to get involved and to, to sort of uh, use the costume, uh, the costume design of the film to express the themes of, of the film. We wanted to be very specific with the palette of the film. Uh, we wanted to evoke the spirit of more like a, a black and white film and to have that sort of lovely luminous quality of, of early films. So we looked at a lot of um, like early black and white movies, mostly movies from the 40s and 50s. Um, and we, we decided we wanted to use like a whole range of like of greys from, from white to black, uh, but also supplement them with um, beautiful earth tones, warm, rich earth tones, but really to be very limited with and considered with our, with our color choices. Uh, this pertains mostly to Joy's home life, her, her house um, where she works, uh, her father's auto shop. Um, this would have a very earthy, restrained, luminous quality to it. When I began to look into the life of, of Joy Mangano, I was fascinated by her amazing transformation from, you know, a shy teenager to a steely and uh, very powerful businesswoman. So that became the core of my idea for Jennifer's character to show this incredible transformation. In the film, Jennifer has 45 costume changes. We see her over three decades, and so it was really important to me to show with her costumes, um, her, her journey. Um, but I think above all, what appealed to me about David's approach was that it wasn't, wasn't so much a biopic, but it was just a film about the ideas of, of empowerment. Uh, and so it wasn't specifically about one character. We, were, we looked at um, inspiring women from all different periods, all different walks of life, real ones, imaginary ones, uh, women that David and I both knew, historical figures, and so it became more of a of a um, of a fable and, a, and an allegory about about empowerment rather than a specific story of one person. I think for Joy, it was the first time that I was trying to evoke a timeless feeling, a sense that it's not restricted by a specific year or a period. In most films, you know, you are really defining the mood of the film by the, the period that you set it in. For Joy, we wanted to kind of avoid that and to have a timeless classic feel. So it could almost take any time in, take place any time in the 20th century. And I found that, that was very challenging because usually something feels authentic or not authentic because you either get the period right or wrong. But with this, it wasn't about you know, was the hemline two inches below the knee or two inches above the knee, it was more a sense of, we called it like an emotional authenticity. So it was, was it, were the costumes authentic to the characters and did they, were they a true reflection of how the character felt about themselves 
and how about their world? Was it was it showing the audience things about the character that was very real and and resonated in an authentic way? So that was our that was our approach to character on Joy. I think one of the joys, if I may use the word, of the costume design for this film was finding a different language and a different style for the four generations of, of women that, that, are, that form the heart of the film. Um, I think with, with the character of Joy, David's created one of his most complex and um, fascinating characters. Uh, she, it's a character that we see from the age of 8 to 43, and we see her develop from a, uh, a, a sweetly questioning uh, child to a, a steely and very resolute, um, powerful businesswoman. And for a costume designer, this was amazing to chart that transformation over the course of 45 costumes and um, a whole different scenarios and layers of realities. It was a wonderful experience for me and to share that with Jennifer Lawrence who brings so much to the table and has such a fearlessness to her uh, was just one of those unforgettable experiences for me.